There's a fish on. Oh my god. All right guys, I'm back at my little pond here and it's super muddy, it's getting late. But I wanna catch some fish, primarily some bass. So we're gonna try out some new baits that I got and see what works, see what doesn't work and see if we can get a fatty in the boat. All right, first I'm gonna start off with a jerk stick from Storm. Twitch stick, not a jerk stick. Same thing. Oh, something grabbed it immediately. little guy I see these little guys that always make me put a hook in my finger so I've been trying to work on the growth of my bass in here um, by taking out a bunch of little ones and last year I took out the little time that I had to fish it I took out a ton and uh I've already seen quite a bit of a difference in my overall bass growth, but still not where I want to be. You guys hear that? Sound like America. There's a fish on. Another little guy. I really need to be bringing a bucket with me because the bass that size, I really need to take out of here. But I don't want to just like throw them on the banks like a lot of people do. I mean, I like eating bass, so especially the real small ones like that. Next time I come out here, I'm gonna make sure I bring a bucket or a stringer. And... Oh, there's another one. Tiny, tiny. Guys, look how ambitious these fish are. He's barely bigger than the size of my lure. Grow up, guy. Little turtles just all around me, just hanging out. Not worried about me a bit. There's one. little guys are serious in here <clears throat> hooking the thumb no wonder he ain't happy he got hooked right in the eyeball not even around the mouth All right guys, so one thing that I've learned in fishing, like, now this doesn't really apply to the river or 
necessarily even reservoirs because I haven't really tested it too much. But in these like small lakes, big ponds, small ponds, when it comes to it being really murky, and a lot of people, there's like a big split of people that say, oh, you need something really bright, like neon and flashy, so they can see it in the water. And a lot of people, um, but a lot of people say that you need to stick with like really dark, natural, neutral colors. And I've tried both of them and I've had both of them work at times and both of them not work at times. So it's really hard to draw a conclusion. But what I have learned is that more so than the color choice is the sound. You know, if I'm fishing in really murky, dark, bad clarity water, I have noticed a huge difference in catches if I'm using something that rattles or shakes or causes little wakes in the water. Um, obviously, all top waters do really good in this type of condition. So, you guys let me know down below in the comment section what you think. You know, what is it? the dark colors in murky water and the bad clarity or is it the real bright super contrasty colors it might be piled back up in here There's a hit. Oh, he didn't really grab it all the way. He's not following it either. He gave up on it. It's okay. I'll send it back out there. Move it a little bit slower. Try to grab it again, but did not make contact. Oh, he's chasing it now, though. He must be small. Either that or needs glasses. Oh, my God. My line just randomly broke on that fish for some reason. There's a fish on. Oh my god. Oh, that's a nice one. Please stay on. Oh my god, you guys see that? Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, this is by far the biggest bass. My drag's not even working. By far the biggest bass I've ever caught out of my pond here. If I can even get him in. To this time that I say what every angler says and like a big fish. I should have brought in a net. Oh my god. Guys, look at that guy. What a hoss. I mean, he ain't massive, but guys, I have not caught anything too sizable out of my lake here. I've been here for probably a little less than a year. I've not fished it super hard. All right, guys, there he is. Yeah, that's 
a nice pass. Just let him go. Well, guys, that was officially the biggest bass I've caught in my lake here.